joke about. Yeah, it was it was our first gig uh, in about 1982-83. We were playing at the Traveller's Rest in Cockerton in Darlington, and uh, the keyboard player who would not be named um, relied on there being a piano in the pub. Well, there was a piano in the pub, but it was so out of tune. And it's still downstairs in the pub now with about eight keys on it. But it's been painted nice and red with Traveller's Rest on it, okay? So I said to Kev, um, oh, Pete Carr has a keyboard, that's, uh, that's not a bad one. Uh, see if you can borrow it off him. So Kev did. Anyway, um, we all were getting ready and everything. Uh, the, the player, who shall be nameless, is waiting there. And uh, Kev comes in with his trumpet in one hand <laughs> and the keyboard under his arm. <laughs> uh, it was so easy to carry because it was only that long. <laughs> Uh, it was about one and a half octaves long, so he plunked it on one of the tables yeah. and he played <laughs> He played two sets with this, how we did, I do not know, and he played solos. But it sounded funny, and I remember going to the bar at, um, at half time and I said uh, to my friend David who'd come along the gig, I said to him, what does it sound like? Yeah, he says, it's pretty good apart from bloody Steamboat Willie over there. Because <laughs> it sounded just like a calliope. <laughs> Anyway, we, next time we tried to get him a piano, this guy Alf Daglish had a, a, a Wurlitzer, a Bakelite Wurlitzer, which worked great on the Tuesday, didn't it, Kev? So we managed, we hauled it all the way up there into the, into the Travellers, tried to get a sound out of it, and all you could get was the sound out of the speakers. So all you could hear was chump, 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 all the way through the gig. And uh, when I asked him if he was going to do any more, he said, uh, no, sorry. Uh, and I asked the bass player, and he said, we come as a pair. So he left as well, and the rest is history to us. Anyway, we're going to play a, a bebop tune for you now, um, written by Harry South. Uh, 